Welcome to another video. My name's Steve. What's your name? I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, I see we've got Jimmy out there. Oh, and JT's watching. And Mike's watching. And Monica's watching. Oh, and there's Hannah watching. Remember they used to do that on kids' shows? Okay, I'm not here to ramble and talk about stupid stuff from the past. Well, maybe I am. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about my CDs I have for this band out of San Diego called The Soft Pack. The Soft Pack. They, um, kind of, uh, 2000s. They were around mid 2000s. Didn't last too long. They started out, uh, called The Muslims. And I guess they, um, got a lot of pushback from, uh, using that name for their band. So they decided to change the name of the band. It became the Soft Pack. I became familiar with them. I discovered them through the great TV show of the 2000s in the New York area called New York Noise. Uh, I've talked about it many a times on these videos. It was a great music video a show that was on once a week and uh, just introduced me to a ton of awesome music. I would, I would DVR it every week. It was on kind of late, I think, if I remember, and I would come home from work and just watch it and kind of just check out the different acts. You know, if I didn't like something, I'd fast forward to the next one. And I just discovered so many awesome bands, uh, through that show. And, um, unfortunately it's not on anymore. Uh, but one of those bands were the soft pact and, I, uh, they played their video for the song Extinction, and I just loved it. Really lo-fi, kind of garage rock. The video is real lo-fi too. Um, but the music very like garage rock, alternative kind of stuff. Um, uh, really good. I really loved it. Um, and I think I was looking for their stuff. Their releases are kind of confusing, and we'll, when we get to them, we'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's like they've released singles and they released like albums. And then this album that came out was like their debut, blah, 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 blah. But I guess let's just get into it. So the first CD of theirs I have, this is from 2009 uh, and it's called Extinction. Um, and I picked this up when I was in Australia in 2010. Uh, I was staying in Melbourne and, uh, I was in a hostel and like down the street, there was this little small record store and I went in there just looking for stuff and I couldn't believe I had already seen the video uh, for Extinction. So I knew of the band, didn't own any of their stuff, maybe some digital stuff. And I just couldn't believe that they had this there in stock. And um, I grabbed it and uh, it's really a really good uh, album. Um, just awesome tracks on here um let's see what these little all but flawless is ridiculously infectious vice said their new record has been gently kicking our ass ever since it showed up here sunday times rough and ready revivalist worth the fuss yes all good quotes for your uh, record um but uh yeah this is just an awesome record there's not much to there's no booklet it's pretty much just little thing with the band names on there. Um, like I said, I was surprised to see this. I think I must have looked for this in the States and could not find it. Um, and so, like I said, it was just awesome to find it down there in Australia. Great tunes on here, Bright Side, American, Extinction, like I mentioned, Beside Myself, Right and Wrong. Yeah, just an awesome, awesome uh, debut, I think because the next one that they release, this comes out in 2009 as well. And this is called uh, Soft Pack, just self-titled. Um, and the sticker says their debut album, which like I said, it was confusing to me because, you know, I already own this. This came out in 2009. I picked it up in 2010. This one, the copyright's 2009, but I'll be damned if, I didn't, well, I guess 2009, I have some ticket stubs here. I went to see them a couple of times. Uh, so I saw them in 2009 at Bowery Ballroom and then 2010, the Bowery Ballroom. You know what? I might be wrong. I might've 
bought this first and then got this in 2009 and then in 2010 picked up this. I don't know. It was, I just remember their releases were always very confusing to me. I think that's what happened. I think this came out in 2009. I got it and I saw them live. And then I went uh, to Australia and found this there. And uh, I think that's what happened. I, I might might be have these backwards or whatever. But um, what's the copyright on this? Dude, eh, copyright on this is 2009 as well. So like I said, confusing. I've never really 100% understood the timeline of when these came out. But anyways, pick this up. I know pretty much when it came out. Uh, and like I said, so I'm live, um, and really great band live. Uh, I, I, the one thing I do remember is the drummer didn't sit down. He stood up and played the whole, uh, show, which was, I don't know that I'd ever really seen that before. Um, but this is another great, uh, collection of tunes by these guys. Um, let me go a little bit more with the booklet here. We got two pages with some odd little collages uh here and the credits you know nothing too exciting but uh yeah so great album come on was really good down on loving answer to yourself is awesome mexico parasites parasites i remember was something earlier that had been kind of kicking around i know i'm familiar i was familiar with that one earlier but yeah really good uh album here by the soft pack self-titled then 2012 we get the album strapped um and this one i kind of was waiting for picked it up right when it came out there was this whole flamingo kind of motif going on here um <laughs> like i said oh nothing but flamingos yeah just kind of odd info in the book there you know uh but um Another, this one, you know, was pretty good, and I covered the, uh, I'm going to have to pop this open because I covered the tracks with uh, another ticket stub. Saw them again at the Bowery Ballroom in 2012. I love the Bowery Ballroom. It's one of my favorite uh, venues in New York to see shows. Let's see. So on this one, Saratoga, I remember really liking. Tall Boy, Bobby Brown, Chinatown. Those are the ones that really stood out. But yeah, this was uh, another good one. And and that kind of was the end um, of the band. I mean, there were, I, and it's funny, I think, I don't remember which release it was. I don't remember if it was Strapped or if it was this one, but I remember like they did uh, like a video, I don't think it was like live streaming or anything, but I remember watching a video online around the time of the release, like the day the album came out, they, like I said, they're from San Diego area. They played like, they played like shows nonstop. So they like would like drive in their van to this one venue, play like a short set. Then they drove to this other place, played a short set. And they just kept doing that like all day to like promote the release of the album, which was kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so then, I mean, there was, it just kind of faded away. Like, I mean, it, the uh, band just never made a big announcement or this or that or anything like that. They just kind of, ceased to be which was a bummer you know because it was a great band and it was fun finding this new band to kind of become a fan of but you know it was short-lived we're talking 2009 to 2012 more or less so that was it and then a few years after that 2016 uh matt lampkin who was kind of the main songwriter uh, in the soft pack he put out this solo record where i'm matt um, and I bought this directly from him on Bandcamp and I made this CD case because there's the CD. Um, what it originally came in was this like homemade wallet that he made himself. There was like, kind of like no two are alike. I'm, I think something like that. It was just this homemade little wallet and the CD was in there like that um but uh i made this like i made my own homemade cd a jewel case just to have a better case for it but 
kind of interesting, you know, I mean, this is, like I said, it's like the tape here, you can see, um, just this little homemade collage that he just glued these little images on. And it's not that big of a surprise, these collages, because, you know, you could see them on some of those soft pack records, but it's, it's pretty good record. Um, take it out on you. Can't give it away anymore. Here I am, I think was a good one, but, uh, yeah, it, it was not bad. You know, it was kind of cool. It wasn't quite the soft pack, but it was still nonetheless good to get some uh, new music, you know, from one of the guys from the band. I don't know the rest of the guys, if any of them put anything else out in other bands or solo stuff, but um, yeah, it's a bummer. I, I really like this band. I wish they kind of, you know, continued on, carried on, because uh, really, really good, uh, good band. But uh, check them out. Um, by all means, if you like garage, looking for like a good garage indie rock band to listen to, you know, I mean, you won't get any new stuff from them, but it'll all be new to you, right? If you had never heard of them before. But uh, yeah, if you've ever seen the soft pack or you're familiar with them, by all means, let me know. I'd love to hear your, uh, you know, your uh, take on the band or if you saw them live, what you thought. And uh, thank you for watching again. Appreciate it. And see you the next time. See you then.